good. All right, gang, with the pressure so high and no adjustment, we're going to have to replace the pressure reducing valve for the house. Fortunately, this one is down here in the water. So luckily, new tool day came in. We can get it out this pump. But first, let's turn off the water to the house. Water's off. Awesome. New tool day. Perfect timing. It's making pretty quick work too. You kind of see the water level going down right there. That's great. Whoop, lost prime. All right, so we're gonna actually cut this one out. We're gonna cut it here and there, um, just pull this one out and put it in, put it back in as a new assembly. All right, the old one's out. Now we need to make up a new one. Okay, so we got our valve here. The way this thing works, water comes in this direction, flows into the house, the back pressure from the house, forces a spring here to cause it to close, therefore um, regulating your pressure. So this side, we're gonna put in a male adapter for the PEX. That'll thread straight into the valve there and get crimped onto the pecs on this side. This side, we're gonna be using an adapter. So the male adapter is gonna fit into there. It'll come on here, then on the side of the pipe, this thread ring will go inside of there and seal up the two parts there. It makes it a lot easier to, to take on, or to put on and to remove later. All right, so this is our new unit together. You can see we've got this um, union side, then we got the adapter side that goes into the pecs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting it put back in the ground. All right, gang, it's in, it's tight. No leaks, the water you see is just coming from the water table itself, flowing back in. So let's check the pressure. Reset. 55, 55 PSI, good to go.